Okay, this is Alan and Graham aboard Carlita. We're in Chapel Creek testing the new uh, horizontal pivoting wind vane. This is uh, version 2 of Graham's wind vane on his uh, 17 Mark III. And the idea here is to get a little bit smaller uh, platform because there was one spot where the vertically pivoting wind vane, the one that just uh, points into the wind, it would hit the mizzen sheet, whereas this one uh, is clear of the mizzen sheet. And right now we're um, close hauled, headed up Chapel Creek in about oh six or seven knots of breeze. And uh, Graham just finished building this. This is our very first on the water test. The pivoting sail is four millimeter plywood and it pivots on a 15 degree axis and this here is an adjustment wheel for course setting and this line runs right around the cockpit so you can uh, make course corrections from the cabin from port side starboard side whichever and everything below the vane is pretty much the same as the old wind vane it's got a tiller on an auxiliary rudder linked to a trim tab and the uh, the vane is uh, held held against the transom, and that gives the auxiliary rudder feedback for course correction. And it's still a kick-up rudder; it's the same rudder as the previous wind vane. And you can't see it very well from this angle, but there's a bell crank. I'll try and turn you around. Okay, there's the bell crank. I'll get a better shot of that later. But she's holding steady pretty well. We're in pretty light airs. And we're uh, keeping on within about uh, 5 to 10 degrees, which is about what we were getting. We've been playing around with the counterbalance. There's a lead weight here that uh, counterbalances the weight of the um, vane itself, of the sail itself. And also we can adjust the angle of the sail here. And so a uh, more vertical sail gives you more power but it tends to be a bit more twitchy and the more you rake it back the uh, more dampened the uh, correction and what's nice about this is you can also remove the sail completely and play around with different sizes this is the uh, larger size and we've got a smaller size for higher wind what's that oh we're about to okay we're about to run aground Okay, all right, show them how you adjust it, Graham. Okay, there's Graham adjusting it from from the port side of the cockpit, and he's able to pivot it onto any, uh, any heading he wants. So he's pivoting the sail directly into the wind, and then once you set it there, uh, the, the boat uh, is corrected onto that, back onto that course. 